hello welcome back to my channel knits by mandy i'm amanda and we talk about knitting on this channel and today we're in a little bit of a different location we are inside of the confines of my computer and we are going to be doing a little like shopping blog not a blog shopping <laughs> browsing spring pattern planning video. So I'm gonna go through, I picked out some patterns that I'm thinking about making this spring and I thought it'd be fun if we could just like browse for yarn together. So let me know if you like this style of video. I definitely have had hesitations. I think I was taking a while to film this because I didn't think anyone would wanna watch it, but I won't know that until I put it on the internet and see what the internet tells me. So with that, I'm going to make myself smaller. We're gonna go over here. And if I did this right, when I pull up my amazing, so what's up? How are we doing? I also wanted to say that this is like largely inspired by another creator here on YouTube. I believe her name is Nispia. Um, I might be saying that incorrectly. And if I am, I'm sorry. Um, but she does like window shopping videos, which I think are really fun. So I kind of thought like we could do window shopping, but for yarn. Cool. Okay. So I have talked about this dress a lot, just right off the bat. It is the Made You Fall dress by Ocean Knits or Vanessa Fleming. And this pattern's really exciting because it seems that I haven't bought, actually purchased it yet, but all the yarn lengths are like to your custom size. So usually when I like buy a pattern, what I'll do is I see that the suggested yarn is the wool and the gang like feeling good yarn. And I'm going to be, do you like my Google extension? I'm going to be honest. I don't think that I like w am going to buy this yarn. I just think it's going to be expensive, but I'm really exposing myself with my search history here, but okay. Let's go to Wool and the Gang. They have a, they have a sale. Um, I've never actually purchased from them before. What, are we, what did we want again? The Feeling Good yarn. And like, see what it's made of. Like, see, you know, if I have any, it's like, see its weight, its gauge. All right, this is the Feeling Good yarn. A lot of it is on sale. So there's that. I didn't expect that to happen. Um, it's a baby alpaca merino and nylon. Interesting. And it's an Aaron worsted white. Okay. And I'm sorry if you can hear them, people vacuuming my hallway. I swear there's always people vacuuming our hallway. Um, so this is $13 for 50 grams. I don't think so. Um, if I have to knit, what, what do I need? Like 900 yards. Or almost, yeah, no, I'm not buying this. Um, <laughs> oh my God, the vacuuming is so loud. I'm filming. We are back looking at this expensive yarn. And this is like no hate to expensive yarn. I just, I don't think I want to spend this much money, especially on a dress. So I know one other thing that I saw people using was the Knit Picks um, Wonder Fluff. And... I have only bought, I've purchased two things from Knit Picks before. I think they're, they're Swish DK, which is like their superwash merino, and also their, um, oh, so this, these are like blown yarns, I think is the, is, the, is the deal. Sorry, I just interrupted my own train of thought. Um, I don't know if this is blown. I really feel like I'm on a Zoom call right now. Anyway, I'm like, can you guys see my screen? Um, I've purchased in the Kotlin from Knit Picks to close that loop. To close that loop, I just want to close the loop on this. Uh, here's the other thing about Knit Picks, like the color photos really stink. <laughs> but I guess that's what happens when you have like these large yarn companies. Um, I like this, it's a little too pink. I think color wise, I'm really drawn towards this color in general, but I am really knitting a sweater right now. I think this color really complements me. Um, a lady at a Clinique counter when I was young 
um, shout out to those of us with clean counter moms. Uh, she told me I had gold undertones, so I think this is like the opposite of my of my skin tone. <laughs> In case you're wondering, I I don't like that color. It's a little too like there's a too much yellow in that green okay so these are options what about brown i've been wanting to make something brown and or beige um i don't know if i'd want to make a beige dress that feels kind of like this looks pretty so okay i want to look at one more yarn i think for this um interesting like it's a pretty decent i feel like color selection however i'm just not like wow i need to make something with this so i wanted to look at i think one more yarn that i think might fit but it might not and it's on hobie and it's the divina and i it is worsted wow google already told me that and i also think this is a blown yarn Okay, it's not blown, but they're held together by an ultra thin net. My only thing is as we, I mean, I guess that the wool in the gang one has nylon, which I think is polyamide. And I think this is like the European way of saying nylon, if I'm correct. Let me, let me Google it. Hi, it's Editing Amanda. I'm getting really annoyed at myself watching this section. It's polyamide, I, I think, and it literally says right on the website, and I'm staring right at it, that the wool and alpaca are blown into the polyamide net. I just felt like I took a whole section there to Google and I didn't even like bring y'all an answer, even though the answer is right in front of my face. So I wanted to add that in. Back to Amanda. Naturally, okay. My concern is also getting sweaty because I know that synthetic fibers like don't breathe as well as natural ones. So your girl sweats. I mean, you can sweat in wool too. Now these colors, I, ooh, I don't think I would make something that pink. I feel like that would wash me out. I do love the pattern photos of this in like a blue. This one is really sticking out in my mind. Whoever did this it looks amazing. I mean, everyone looks amazing. This also is a gorgeous. Um, yeah, like these colors are just gorgeous. So navy blue kind of sticking out. Does anyone feel like when you see a pattern knit in a certain color, like you have to knit it in that color, you're almost like predisposed to picking it. Um, I feel like sometimes that happens to me. So they have nice blues. I'm liking, I'm liking the blues. Um, I will say price wise, I thought this was going to be a little cheaper but um I guess they do give you the bulk discount so I'm sure by the time I buy enough it'd be like a lot cheaper than wool in the gang or um I think wonder fluff is you get 164 yards how do you get with this 142 so it'd be kind of around the same okay so those are, those are some thoughts. These are the first ones that I'm looking at. I think what is, ooh, that's like, that says sage, but it looks almost like gray green. What is sticking out to me is this blue color. This is speaking to me. If I was doing like an un, like a uh, wish list, I definitely think this wool in the gang purple, but I honestly don't know how much I would wear like a purple knit dress. Um, maybe this color. I think this is what the like original like her her dress is in. I, I just closed the pattern. Um, and if I had to pick one of these, maybe the this color. Okay, we looked at three yarns that are like kind of similar, so. I think Teal Yarn Crafts rated this uh, yarn well, and I haven't forgotten it. That's why I like immediately remembered it. Okay, moving on to a pattern that hasn't been released yet, which I feel myself, I'm just like lusting over things that are in test knitting recently, which not fun. It's like really, I'm like edging myself, but with knitting. <laughs> I so, so 
I saw Knitted by Whitney's podcast um, of her talking about her souffle tea, and I just think it looks so pretty. And at first I was like, mm, I don't really like a ruffle. But, and, and Whitney mentioned this in her podcast, she's like, it's just like cheeky. It's just like a cheeky ruffle. And I like that it's a design element, but I feel like with the ruffle trend, things were just like so ruffly that they weren't really reusable. So I really like this. And what is she? I think, I thought, I thought she uses a mohair. I don't think I want to use a mohair for this. Be I'm thinking I want it to be more of like a spring top. Whitney said she made it in an alpaca and it was really hot. So what can we do for a lace weight, lightweight yarn? So two lace held together. I think for the first, this portion, it's um, like the top portion, you don't hold the lace together. So you kind of have this like sheer decolletage panel, which is, how cute, okay. I don't really know where to look for lace weight yarn. So where should we go first? I want to look at a different website. Let's go to drops. Um, do you ever do this? You just like Google something kind of close and it's, they're like, you need to be a little more specific. And it's like, okay, we will accept the cookies. Um, and I also wanted to point out, I'm probably gonna be looking more at like big yarn retailers on this video, just because I do find it a little more like tricky to kind of easily surf like indie dyer content. And if that's something, you know, people wanna see, I could definitely do that. Um, but like, I just didn't think it'd make as like, as a fun like browsing and viewing experience, if that makes sense, so. These are the drops yarns. Nothing is really speaking to me. Um, <laughs> here I am. Maybe this baby merino. And I also have, I don't want 100% alpaca dress. That doesn't sound like it would have a lot of structural integrity. Um, or no, we're not doing the dress, we're doing the top. But I don't want to, that'd be too hot. <sighs> okay. Here's the thing with drops. They're like, it's A. And it's like, this is, this is a sport rate. Let's look at the, the gauge. 20 and 28. Okay, this is 23 to 26. 24 to 32. Okay, I'm just going to keep looking and we'll worry about gauge later. This is kind of the tricky part about yarn shopping. Now, this color, I feel like I really wanna make the souffle tea. I've been thinking about it in like a sage green. I don't really have anything in that color. Um, and it's not one I usually used to wear a lot, but I knit a green top last summer and I think it looks quite nice on me if I do say so myself. Again, I'm not, I just like love lavender. What a superior color. It's so great. It's so great. Um, I don't really wear these like light blues. Um, maybe like this light lavender would be really like kind of dainty and nice. Um, or like light sky blue. I'm just clicking around because I got lost. Um, you know where I, okay. I know Hedgehog Fibers has a like a pretty good website. So I'm going to look over here. Luxury hand dyed yarn. Um, okay. Merino lace. Let's, let's look at that. This could be really fun too. And it's like a t-shirt. So it's like, I could splurge, Didn't really sock them in this year. but this is probably what, like 400 yards. And how much do I need for this? Um, she doesn't have that count yet. Okay. But I would imagine not too much. Immediately, I'm looking, or this one. I don't think I would want that top in this. I, this is like a little too orange. It's not like, I know it's not orange, but you know what I mean? What about whisper? That's 
and that could be really dainty and pretty. Um, I've never, I've only used like a few hand dyed yarns actually before, so that could be a fun, I know I just said I'm not looking at hand dyed yarns, here I am. <laughs> Sorry. You know, okay, wait. You know what I feel like I've seen before? Um, wondering flock. I feel like the wondering flock aesthetic really matches this shirt. So going back, I like this colorway. I don't really like any of the other ones, I'm going to be honest, um, at least for this shirt. Like something like this. I don't know if they don't have a lace weight. So I could do a fingering and kind of skip out on that front panel, but, or I could do a mohair one. Oh, look at this one. Ooh. How pretty would that be? Oh, and the icy lavender. Or this. Come on. That would be really cool. Okay. So we looked at three yarns. We'll move on to review. I could probably like look at this forever. As a mohair, this is gorgeous. Um, also sunsets in Brooklyn. I know Aronitz and, Aronitz and Pearls um, talks about their yarn a lot. And like, I see why it's so, this really attracts me. I love, okay, I'm wearing my, my Noro um, garden silk yarn. And I like love how this is, like it's a it's very colorful but it's also like not like graphic like it's all just kind of blends together i love that aspect of it um ah, wow i love this this is really pretty welcome back to my channel knits by mandy asmr okay let me close these windows i know sorry if you get anxious with lots of tabs but I just closed the ones that I was looking at. But if I did like a drops yarn, I don't really know. I'm going to have to think about this longer. And if you have um, any examples, I don't think that a cotton merino <laughs> lace weight yarn exists. But if it did, I would do that one. Okay. We did the um, Made You Fall dress. We did the souffle tee. Lastly, I wanted to do camisole number five. I definitely think I'm going to make this. Um, my favorite things knitwear, please make things in more sizes. Um, I It is used with knitting for Olive Merino, which I am making my um, anchor sweater in it and I really really like how it feels and I think it'd be like a great summer t-shirt material and that's a fingering rate. I'm gonna look at it here. Okay knitting for olive. Let's go. Let's look look at the colorways and um we'll look at other maybe merino options. There's so many like fingering merino options on the market. That's kind of the hard part. So for this, I definitely would want it to be like a basic and I'm thinking kind of back into that beige, brown, nougat color examples. I know my color preferences maybe seem like so far out, but sometimes I just like look at things and I feel like I know what I want the color to be in, you know, like I like, I don't know how to describe that. It's like some things just need to be fun and some things need to be basics. And I definitely don't have enough like building blocks. Immediately, these two right here, the dark, the soil and the dark mousse. I'm really into this. I really like the different colors here. That's pretty. Um, and this is, and again, like spring knits are nice because, or summer knits and spring knits because you don't need as much yarn and like you can... You can either save money or you can buy nicer yarn. So nature is kind of nice. It might be a little too light for what I'm looking for, but it's kind of nougaty, right? So I usually skip this page when I come and look. Sometimes this is just like a resting spot for my brain. Just like take a moment. Just the way it's coordinated is so nice. It's very pleasing to me. 
I don't really like these colors. I'm going to be honest. Hazel, I'm down with. Bark, also down with. Maybe Dark Cognac. But these I don't like. These are getting out of what I would like. Um, and then I think it goes into reds. I wanted to knit something pink or like hot pink or red, but I don't know. I haven't seen anything that's spoken hot pink or red to me. This is what I'm making my anger sweater in. It's gorgeous. And I don't really want, or I would do Dusty Artichoke. I'm sorry. I feel like I keep interrupting my own train of thought. Uh, this is literally what goes on in my head when I'm doing this. Or sage green. I'm, I keep coming back to the trendy sage green. Trendy for a reason. Fennel seeds also very like... I like this color a lot. I'm having so much fun with color. I have a quick question. Um, why are colors called like petrol or petroleum green? I feel like that's a European thing. Like, does oil... Is oil this color? Petroleum's gas. Can someone explain that to me? I don't really understand why colors are. Maybe because it's like shiny? Maybe because it's shiny. Okay. If someone could drop me a line, that'd be great. I could Google it on the computer I'm on right now, but that's no fun. Okay, again. Sorry, I'm opening all the tabs. Okay, so that was knitting for olive. We like the browns. We like the sage greens. I feel like it's a safe. We're playing it safe. I'm trying to think of any other brands I wanted to look at for, let me look at my note. I, 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 oh, I did want to look at ritual dyes. Uh, just because that's like a name I keep hearing. Oh, look, it's Bark and Knit. And the Jessie made gingham. Wait, I want that. Uh-oh, I'm being influenced. Okay. I would like to shop. Shop all yarn. Awesome. And here's the thing. We can we okay. Oh, they have Lola Bean. That's a pretty color. I guess Ritual Dyes is a store and also they make their own yarn. Look at this. Oh. Oh, this is like their superwash merino and fingering. Easy peasy enough. Oh, these are really pretty. Let's look at this one. I like that. I'm sorry, I'm wistless. Maybe I'm giving you tingles. I don't know. It's thinking pretty highly of myself. I really like this. Oh gosh. So, but again, how many yards do you get? You have 400 yards for $30. Being ridiculous. These are really pretty blues, too. I haven't knit anything blue in a minute. I'm kind of thinking about that drops light blue that we looked at. That's kind of sticking in my head. Um, or, wow, I love all of these colors. So this is their, oh, this is on pre-order. Are they all on pre-order? This is the other thing. I mean, and I'm not trying to get on, excuse me, indie dyers or small businesses, but it's just another thing that you have to like keep in mind when you're shopping and like planning your mix is that sometimes if you want to shop a little smaller, you might have to do a little bit more planning, um, which a lot of people do. I'm not the best planner. I think it, it's not the best fit for my knitting style, but um, I guess I clicked on the one that said pre-order, so I could have easily clicked on anything that wasn't pre-order. You might be yelling at me through your computer screen right now if you've made it this far. That's really pretty. It's not really what I need. Oh, I set an alarm to give myself time. I just, I saw this on Instagram. I wanted to click on it. <laughs> I actually, when I was really young, I bought, Lion Brand had a yarn like this. I think they still have one and I bought it and I like, was going to make a blanket and I never did, but I, I remember buying a craft store yarn like this. That's really pretty. That would be really pretty in the made you look dress, made you fall dress. Oh, I really love this colorway. <sighs> okay. I do think actually now that I'm looking at this, I think Aronitz and Pearls 
bought this in her Rose City yarn crawl video. Um, that's the second time I mentioned her. I'm not stalking her, I promise. I just watched her, <laughs> her Rose City yarn crawl video. Okay, let's look at one more yarn and I think we'll wrap up this video just for the sake of time. Um, let's look at, we looked at um, Knitting for Olive. We looked at like a small dyer. One website we haven't looked at is Hobie. No, we did look at Hobie. I know nothing about Rowan yarns. Um, and I was actually looking at this pattern by them. I didn't want to include this in the video because it's just like a cotton yarn and I'm actually not sure if I'll make this. I'm not sure if I'll make two dresses in one year also, but like this is summer, spring and the ocean, it's dress is like fall. So I could come back to that. And I feel like this wouldn't take me that long. It is knit in two by two rib. Anyway, so I've been, I was just like on their website. So let's look at their yarn. Um, the best yarn store. Okay. That's pretty uh, brave. I get kind of annoyed when they have a fingering weight. When I can't find something immediately, I get annoyed basically is what I'm saying. Um, find lace. We don't want lace. We want fingering. Oh, that's pretty. I feel like this, this yarn looks like it's expensive. This yarn looks like it went to Harvard. Oh, wow. Um, let's click on this. I don't think this is what I want. It could be. Off the bat, none of these colors are really, mm, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this I don't know if in in camisole number number five something I think more like I don't know this is like cornflower blue ooh ooh you know me in purple I'm I'll stop talking about purple yeah I'm gonna be honest I'm not really like feeling drawn to these colorways so. All right, so as a review for for camisole number five by My Favorite Things, um, I loved these colors in the knitting for olive, like browns and beiges. And I was looking at ritual dyes and they're really pretty colorways and I might need to splurge. Um, and I looked at Rowan and I only looked at one ball of yarn, but I'm running out of time to be honest with you and I'm, not getting all the information I need from just them telling me the name of a yarn. I guess I can roll over it. Duh, Amanda. Okay, well, I'm dumb. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for, uh, let me, let me go back here. Let me make myself bigger. Thanks so much for tuning in. Let me know if you liked this style of video. Um, I thought it would just be a little fun, a little casual. Um, kind of easier to produce if I'm being 100% honest. Um, but we got to do what we got to do when life is busy and I still want to be creative and talk about yarn and knitting. So let me know how you liked it. We've reached 500 subscribers, which is really exciting. Um, I love celebrating these small milestones. So thank you for 500 subscribers and all 500 of you, if you're watching, Thanks for being here. And if you're not a subscriber, you can definitely do that. You can like this video. You can comment. You can tell me what you liked about this video. You can tell me what you're doing for the spring. Tell me, you know, how your day was, whatever. Um, <laughs> now I'm just word vomiting. Thanks for being here. I really, I really do truly appreciate it. Um, and I'm excited to keep making content on this platform. So bye.